What's going on everyone? It's been a while since I've made a video and I apologize. Uh, life's been crazy and it's been hard for me to take the time and uh, really just for a little while I wasn't feeling too creative. Got married, moved into a bigger place and got a dog so everything's been quite hectic. But I got everything set up now and I'm ready to get back into everything. Today is going to be a controversial video for sure. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate and comments for it, but I got a 320 Yay! and I wanted to put an agency trigger on it to see how it would go. Um, you know, just having this and being carrying an appendix a lot, I figured it wouldn't hurt to try out the little trigger dingus that they have on Glocks. And I know that that's going to get a huge amount of hate. Why would you do that? Why would you put a Glock trigger on a stick? It's so stupid, blah, blah, blah. Well, it doesn't hurt to try. And I'm glad I did because I have some interesting thoughts on it for everybody to know. So, um, long story short, they're not the easiest thing to get right now. They come out on Omaha Outdoors, I think is the only place you can get them. And they usually sell out quite quick. I had to be on a waiting list until I got this one in black. And I was kind of excited to get it at something different. And, you know, why not try it? Appendix isn't the safest way to carry all the time. You're in a pretty vital area with where your gun's pointing. So I figured it wouldn't hurt to try it. And that being said, I don't recommend it at all. It has a huge, huge, huge fatal flaw for being an EDC trigger. And that is, if you put your finger on the top of it, on the top edge of the pad, if you just happen to grab it lightly, you can't depress the trigger at all. And it'll bind up to where you have to slide your finger all the way down to the bottom to hit the little trigger dingus. And having shot a lot of Glocks, there's never been a problem. No matter where you put your finger on the trigger, it's gonna get that little trigger safety and it's gonna depress it so you can pull the trigger. But here, if you grab it and go up top, I mean, you can see my finger changing colors here. I'm squeezing this as hard as I can to where I feel like I'm almost gonna bend something and the trigger won't go until you slide it down and hit the trigger dingus. So I think that is a massive flaw for a trigger, especially if it's on an EDC thing. If you just want it for shits and giggles because you like agency and it's gonna be a range toy, as long as you put your finger down there, it goes good every time. Um, it does not remove pre-travel or over-travel, so don't expect any adjustability or a really increased feel. It comes with three springs that I didn't even bother to put on because why put springs on a trigger that doesn't work if you grab it in the wrong spot? But it's two sear springs, and let me see what they said on the email because I haven't been able to find it. A trigger takedown spring so whatever a trigger takedown spring is it comes with one of those and two sear springs but long story short I was quite disappointed in agency because if you put your finger on the wrong spot it just binds up and doesn't fire so just a short video reviewing that Shit, telling you what I think. This is new 320. Um, I got a bunch of videos coming up. The Armory Craft takedown levers for this and the normal P series are epic. So I'm gonna have a video on those. I got a gas pedal for this, which I love. Um, Armory Craft trigger for a 320. A Keras trigger for a 320. I gotta hit my hands on a Grey Guns ELS system for uh, the normal SIG P series the Parker Mountain Machine Comp that everybody's been wanting to know about. So I got a ton of stuff lined up ready for you guys. I'll be getting these videos out to you weekly again. So just leave a comment down below what you'd like to see first. If it'd be the triggers for the 320, the takedown levers, the comp. I mean, I got a ton of stuff to go over with you guys. I've had my hands on it for a while, so I can give you my thoughts on being having it to be used and not just coming out of the package so thanks for sticking with me it's good to be back and let me know what you want to see in the comments below 
Thanks everybody for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to put them below in the comments section. If you haven't already, please subscribe. You can do that by clicking that little circle that pops up there. And remember, if you're looking for a new pet or animal, please adopt. There's thousands of animals looking for a new home, and that home could be with you. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you.